Hi there, my name is Ronnie. Welcome to the lesson on how to pay with a debit or credit card. Um, one thing that might be a little bit difficult when you're shopping is um, understanding what the machine says when you want to pay with a bank card, a debit card, or a credit card. So, as an example, this is a credit card. It's not, but it's It'll suffice, it'll do. So, this is actually a, a points card for movies. If you like to go to the movies, you can get a scene card. And if you spend lots of money in the movie theater, you can watch a movie for free. Um, the first thing that the person's going to do is they're going to give you a machine. Or a machine will be at the checkout or the cash register. Oh, hi, machine. The very, very first thing that the machine will say We'll say swipe or insert. These are verbs. The first verb, swipe, what you have to do is you have to take the black strip and swipe means to quickly push it through or pull it through a machine. So you're going to be like, whew, whew. you can make this noise if you want. Whew. Now, the thing that confuses me all the time is sometimes I have to put my card in so the black stripe is towards me. Some machines you have to put so the black stripe is away from you. The people never tell you and you... <laughs> didn't work. Oh my god, what's happening? Other way. Oh, thanks. <clears throat> so, maybe you are able to swipe your card. Perfect. So you're going to verb swipe the card. The other option, insert. This card does not have one, but this is called a chip. It's like a microchip. And you actually insert or put the card into the bottom of the machine. So, swipe means to do whew, this action. I don't know how to spell whew. But insert means stick it in, to put in. So you're actually going to put the machine, or put the, your card in the machine. The next thing that will happen is you probably have to keep your card in the machine. If it's inserted, if it's swiped, you usually take your card back. Um, they're going to ask you to verify the amount. So on the little computer screen, you say amount 4275 OK. It's your chance to press the OK button. Now, if you decide that maybe the price is wrong or the person has typed it in wrong, you have the option to press cancel. Cancel means no, 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 not going to happen, no, 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 sorry. Okay means yes. It'll tell you the amount, 42.75, okay. You will then press okay. The next screen that will come up will look like this. Chisev. Uh, what is Chisev? These are two different kinds of bank accounts that are common around the world. Um, the first one is checking. And the second one is saving. Now, a checking account means that you can write checks. Checks are like paper money. Um, if you ever have to pay rent, you're going to use a check. A savings account, <laughs> more like a spending account, is you cannot write checks through it. They're usually cheaper and more efficient in banks than a checking account. Some people have two bank accounts. Maybe you have a checking account and a savings account. And maybe you have to keep a certain amount of money in one of these. So you get to choose which account your money comes out of. The next step it's going to say is enter PIN. PIN, PIN, safety PIN, what's a PIN? Your PIN is your personal identity number. So it's usually for numbers. Mine is 777, oh no, I'm not going to tell you. Enter your PIN number. So you put in your PIN number. Now, sometimes, this happens to me a lot, I try to swipe or I try to insert my card. And I have to tell the person, I have to say, it didn't work. So it means this black band at the back it's not being read by the machine. The machine does not understand this. Some people have techniques where they take a piece of paper and they 
put the card through again. If your card is very old or dirty like mine, maybe it doesn't work as well. That's why the chip is really, really helpful or you insert it in. But anyway, sometimes if it doesn't work, you got to start again. Okay. So you're going to enter your pin number. Now, maybe you forget your pin number. Mm -hmm. It might tell you wrong pin. So it means mistake. Oh no. It'll say re-enter pin. Re-enter means you do the number again. Hopefully it's okay. Maybe you need to say to the person, it didn't work. So they have to cancel the transaction. You get to do it again. Hopefully your pin has worked because you remember it. You enter your pin number and most machines at the end of the pin number, you have to press OK. Then all the magic happens, all the money comes out of your account and you'll get a message that says processing. Do not remove card. So this means don't take your card out if it's inserted. Okay. If it's a swipe card, there's no problem. But if you take the card out when it's processing, it means it's working. It's taking your money from your bank account. Um, you can't remove it. Okay. You have to wait until you get this message. It'll say transaction complete or completed remove card. I don't have to tell you how important this is. Um, twice I have forgotten to remove my card. So I went home and I said, Oh no, where's my debit card? I had to go back to the store and it was there. I was so lucky. Two times that's happened. How many times has it happened to you? Um, using a credit card, is almost exactly the same idea. You're going to swipe it or insert it. It's going to ask you the amount. When you use a credit card, you will not have a checking or savings option, but you will probably have to enter a pin number. It'll tell you again, processing and then transaction complete. Um, some banks offer an option called tap and go or pay as you go, where you just touch the credit card to a sensor and it subtracts money from your bank account. I don't trust that one. Another thing, a very bad thing, a very tragic thing that could happen when you are paying with your debit or your credit card is you could get a message instead of it saying transaction complete, ding, 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 remove card. You could get one of these ones. This one says incomplete transaction. Please try again. An incomplete transaction means it did not work. There was a problem. There could have been a problem with your checking or savings. You could have entered the wrong pin number. Many mistakes happen and maybe it wasn't your fault. Maybe it was the bank's fault. Um, so it'll say, please try again. Guess what? Ooh, you probably would have to enter checking or savings again and your pin number. One of them, and the last one that I will teach you today is a very, very terrible one. The horror, the shock, it is called insufficient funds. Insufficient funds means there is no money in your bank account. So the transaction would be incomplete. You don't have enough money in your bank account to pay for what you wanted to buy. That's a problem with you and your bank. So my advice is to get a job, <laughs> get some money, make sure you've got lots of it in the bank account before you go shopping. If you like shopping, next time you go, try and pay with a credit or a debit card. See if you can do it. I hope so. Goodbye.